Hey guys, so right now we're going to talk about the Lindgrove Merlot in the collection range. So Lindgrove has a reserve range and a collection range and the whole concept is to introduce people to the farm. So this, this wine is under the collection range. And normally what you're going to find with these type of wines and these price points is that they're going to be very aggressive and all over the place. Um, also Merlot is a very difficult grape to get right because it has a very thick skin and South Africa's climate is not really conducive to it. So it's very hard to find Merlots that drink well and especially at this price point. And that's why we think it's such a great steal. So what you're gonna get out of this wine is, you're not gonna get too much of that oakiness in this wine. And the reason for that is that the winemaker is using older oak barrels, right? Now what, what that means is, with wine, most white wine goes into stainless steel tanks. And most red wine goes into uh, your barrels, right? Now, the more expensive wines goes into the you get you get to use a barrel three times. So the most, first time you're gonna use it, you're gonna get the most oak extraction, but also it costs about twenty rand to put it the cost of production just to put it in the first four. The second time you're gonna get about you're gonna get less oak extraction and the third time you're gonna get slightly less, right? But there's been a trend now in the wine industry not to use new for barrels. And that's why winemakers can release wines younger. Because when you use first, second, four barrels, wine's gonna be very heavy and it needs to age to soften up. But what's happening, especially in the Scotland and um, with a lot of the younger winemakers is they're using older for older barrels and that's gonna impart less flavor but more, act more like a, uh, a, a vessel to, to introduce oxygen into the wine. So you're really using the, the, the old barrels just to impart the softening agent instead of the flavors. And that's why this wine's gonna be very light and crisp. And that's because old oak barrels were used to produce this wine, not new. So you're gonna get a more clean, uh, fresh even style wine. Now it's important to drink this wine at the right temperature, you know. With Merlot like this, you've got to think of it like maybe like a Pinot Noir. Um, chill it down a bit, 16, 70 degrees Celsius. Um, and have it in, in the sun. It, it's a great daytime, sunny day. Or white wine, a red wine, sorry. So, um, with this weather we're having, just relax with it and have a good time with it. Um, but in terms of food pairing, this is a, a white wine that can go with something light, like a sushi. Um, can go really well with salmon um, and, and also pork. Merlot and pork is a great, great family. So that's another option. Hope you enjoy this one. Cheers.